Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you? Are you ready for the last session? Ready, teacher. Great. That's good. All right. Only the rat and the card will say good evening on the chat. Somebody else? Okay, Elvin, good evening. Okay, Deborah in traffic. My goodness. <laughs> you know, I think with Salvadorian you spend more time in traffic than in other activities. It's terrible. That's not nice. Well, welcome. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you are ready. And that after this session, yes, you could go and enjoy Christmas time. And probably until next year, you continue studying, okay? Well, only the reminder that at 8.20, we have the survey. Yes, at 8.20, for the ones that I have said, I mean, for the ones that thought it was going to be at 8.30, it's going to be at 8.20, okay? The, let me see, yes, just a reminder. Twenty. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, this time. It started, and as I was mentioning, yes, this is our last session. We close this module on today's session, which is the session number 20 on the Friday, December the 8th of 2023. Uh, very different year, actually. So, well, things come and go. The reminders of the usual attendance, one hundred percent. You should be in class for one hundred and twenty minutes. Attendance is taken twice at the beginning and at the end of the session, and the attendance is taken as a real if you say present. So there should be a one-on-one -on -one sessions we haven't had lately, and. Yeah, the way we should behave, the behavior that we should show on Zoom with the different uh, options, the microphone, camera, the chat, the breakout rooms. So we can definitely use them accurately, right? Okay, we have more chats. Oh, that's Natalia. Nice, very good. And then you got the Christmas spirit, okay? And Brian said good evening as well. All right. The requirements and the reminders about the evaluations, which are also very, very important, okay? All right. So this is our last session, as I was saying, plan a corporate business trip for the offshore training by using the grammar and vocabulary from unit four. Okay, so practically we're going to be reviewing the unit four. 
Okay, as part of this unit, travel plans, yes, requested provide instructions about the means of transportation to get to a place. Take a taxi, take a bus, walk, right? Take the subway, take the train, okay? Vocabulary practice, truck, subway, maximum speed, the U-turn, not overtaking. So these are uh, some of the vocabulary we're going to be related to throughout the lesson. All right. Without any further ado, let's have the attendance. Oh, we're almost running. Give me a second. Okay, here I am. Let me see, let me see, let me see. For the attendance. Here we go. Ana Cristina Diaz Castro. Is she here? Ana Cristina. Oh no. Brian Ulises. David Miguel. Present teacher. Hey. Deborah Beatriz. Present teacher. Hey. Doris Elizabeth. Erwin Gabriel. Present Miss. Hi. Gracias Marisol. Gracia is not here. All right. Hector Manuel. Present teacher. Okay. Email de Xiomara. Not here. Eva Garnoldo. Not here. Joana de la Paz. Present teacher. Hello. Jocelyn Karina. Present. Hello. And then we go with Laura Berenice. Is Laura here? No. Okay. Maria Irma. Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Miguel Angel. Not here. Nelson Alberto. Not here. Pablo Natalia. Present teacher. Hello. Ricardo Mauricio. Present teacher. Hello. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. Not here. Okay. Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Okay. So, let's see. Give me one second. I think we're going to be able to, yes. Okay, we're going to work on this exercise. Give me one second, please. Okay. This is according to the manual. And this is a speaking activity. Why? Why do you or your partners travel on business? Rank the top three reasons. To attend conferences and, and seminars, to go on a training, to visit clients, to attend in-company meetings, to visit agents or leaders, or dealers, sorry, to visit manufacturing plants, okay? All right, let's talk about to attend conference and seminars. Do you travel because of this reason? Do you travel on business? If you, if you travel, on business or for work to attend conference and seminar. 
probably you don't have to travel to Russia or China or the United States, but at least to another city, to San Salvador, to San Miguel or to Santa Ana, or maybe to a Central American country or Latin America, okay? So do you ever travel? Write on the chat. If you ever travel to attend conference and seminar, okay? Right, I travel because of conference and seminar, or I travel to attend conference and seminar. I travel to Guatemala, or I travel to Colombia. I don't know, or I travel to another city in the country. Okay, let's see. I'm going to read your comments on the chat. Mm -hmm. No comments yet. We need to interact, remember? All right. No comments. I don't see any comment. Okay, hello. Oh, wow, nobody travels because of attending conference and then seminars. Um, interesting, or nobody participates, okay? To go on training, to classes, to trainings, to workshops. Mm -hmm. To visit clients, anybody? Well, I don't see anybody. Miss, I didn't listen. What are you uh, need to? My audio is not working? Yes, but I didn't listen. Ah, uh, okay. No, I was I'm... feeding my kids. It's all right. I was just saying that if you travel for any of these reasons that you explain on the chat, for what reason you travel. If you travel to another city, it's okay. If you travel uh, to San Salvador or to any Central American country, or what places you would like to go or what reasons you would like to go on business. For example, I definitely would like to go on trainings in the United States. That would be nice. And I have done that before, okay? Or to attend um, conferences and seminars to Europe, why not? It would be nice, okay? But I haven't done it yet, but I, I have done, yes, uh, quite a lot here in San Salvador, attending yeah. trainings and conferences. Okay, so that's what you have to explain on the chat. Okay. Mm
Oh, well, we have to pause the activity because it's 8.20. So as I told you, it's time for the survey. Okay, give me one second. Just need to access to the survey. Yeah, I think, well, Jocelyn says, I think in my case, it could be to attend to seminars and conference with other financial institution I wish in the future in Europe. That's great. That's awesome. Well, let me just get something right here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think you receive an email similar to this one. Okay. And then you have this link for the for the survey, right? So I'm going to share. In case you don't have it, it is for the survey. So you click on that link and let's start the survey. Okay. So this is the survey. And the information that you have to add, it's right here. So I'm going to copy and paste it as well. I'm going to copy paste all this information also on the chat in case you don't remember, you don't have it, you just want to, oh, wait a second. Yes. So here in the chat, you also have orden de inicio, nombre del proveedor, and so on and so on. So lo pueden dar copiar y pegar del chat de Zoom, right? You want this information on WhatsApp too? Igual se les voy a poner en WhatsApp. Yo creo que si ya la tienen. Igual ellos se los habían compartido. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y no olviden que al finalizar la encuesta, ustedes tienen que tomar un screenshot y compartirlo en el grupo de WhatsApp. All right. So we're going to be waiting for you to get there. Ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio, como les decía, lo pueden copiar y pegar. Y será proporcionado para que lo pueden copiar y pegar. No, es el nombre completo, correo electrónico con el que se escribió en el curso, número celular, sexo, departamento de residencia, municipio de residencia. Ok. Eh, empresa donde trabaja, aquí es todo la, el nombre largo, claro, es the Michelle, buenas noches, ya Hola. están llenando la encuesta. Sí, ahorita. Vaya, me voy a... Un nombre del proveedor con el que se capacita, ahí despliega el, min, el menú y el menú y ahí usted encuentra... Regal International. El inglés corporativo Regal International. Y esa es la que tiene que elegir. Nombre del curso. Ahí lo tienen. También lo pueden copiar y pegar. Y luego hacer el llenado de esta parte. Fecha de inicio. También la tienen en WhatsApp. Fecha de finalización. Que es hoy, diciembre 8. Y nivel de satisfacción. Y mencioné otros cursos de interés. Comentarios. All right. No olviden tomar el screenshot cuando lo hayan terminado y poner su nombre al screenshot, su nombre completo para saber de quién es el screenshot. 
okay. El nombre del curso, teacher, perdón. Ahorita se lo comparto. De nuevo. Y, la, y la primera pregunta también creo que no tengo el dato. Ahorita se lo reenvío, no se preocupe. Gracias. Okay. Nombre del curso, inglés principiante módulo 3. Lo voy a reenviar. En WhatsApp. Gracias. Buenas noches. Ok, ya tenemos la primera respuesta. Joana de la Paz Gómez Molina. Okay, gracias, Joanna. Thank you very much. Te he una pregunta. Dígame. Este, en el nombre de la empresa tengo una duda. Yo, ¿Cómo aparece sí. ahí el nombre de la empresa? Inglés Corporativo Regal International. No, en la donde yo trabajo. Ah, se lo copio. Porque, sí, porque es que ocupan dos nombres, pero no sé cuál lo han ocupado ahí. Ah, este se lo copio de ahí. No se Bueno, ahorita se lo compartí aquí en el chat privado de Zoom. Gracias, Tiche. Ok, ya sabe.
Recuerden escribir su nombre a la screenshot para saber de quién es. Listo, teacher. Gracias. All right. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Alguien nos hace falta aún? Sí, teacher, yo. Ok, ya no casi. problem, no problem, it's ok. Teacher, una consulta. Sí. Eh, ¿Qué otros cursos imparten? Porque desconozco. Ahorita le copio. Ok, gracias.
Ya te eché. Thank you, thank you.
everyone finish? Yes? Finish. Nice. Let me double check the screenshots. Please. All right. Let me just count. Okay, I think everybody, everybody completed. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on with the exercise we were working on. Okay, well, we're describing three reasons why you travel of distance. And if you don't travel on business, the reason why you would like to travel on business. Que si aún no viajan por negocio o por trabajo, pues por qué razones si le gustaría viajar. So you gotta say that on the chat. Explain on the chat. Teacher, son tres razones por las que nos gustaría viajar. Sí, no viajan, pero si viajan, las por, por las razones por las que viajan. Ok. Ajá. Ya sea in El Salvador, inside the country, or outside the country. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, I'm going to read your messages.
All right, just Ricardo answer reasons because I travel on business to visit clients, to go on trainings for visiting other agencies. All right, good. No more? Okay, now you're going to write five sentences about schedule activities. Use the vocabulary from the box. Make a reservation, request a hotel service, attend a business event, check out, and stay. Con cada una de las palabras, ustedes tienen que crear una oración. ¿Cómo podríamos utilizar la frase make a reservation? I need to make a reservation at a hotel. I'm going to travel for business. So, but is there an option? All right, Mr. Hector, for business, for sharing experiences with other companies, for a special training in a certain business. All right, good. Okay, and after you write the sentences, you are going to share the sentences with your partner. You're going to read your sentences to your partner. Compare.
Hola Richard. Débora, ¿cómo están? Hola, hola. ¿Ya terminaste? Yo voy por la número tres. Espérame, que no les he empezado. Me está dando problemas. Pero no, vaya, lo que no entiendo yo en la tres que dije, Aten, dije que es un evento de negocio. Mira, mira. Uh -huh. Es cierto. Tal vez, tal vez nos despeja a la teacher. Hello, attend. Sí. Uh -huh. Attend a business event. Como attend a conference, attend a training, como para uh, asistir a un training, a una conferencia, a, un, a una reunión. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Hacer una reserva. ¿Cómo iniciaste la primera, Richard? Yo le puse, necesito hacer una reservación. Okay. Porque puede ser una oración así. Porque puede ser tipo pregunta también. Podría ayudarme sí. a hacer una reservación. Sí, sí. Este y ese este y que era como hasta día.
¿Ya terminó? Va, ya terminé las mías. ¿Ya las terminaste? Sí. Yo voy a comenzar las tres ahorita. Quiero ver. Sí. No. Sí. Gracias. 
no tenemos. Ya lo terminé, Richard. Álvaro, vamos a revisar. Vaya, no sé si estarían bien así. Espérame, espérame. Espérame, te que en primo tiene una música aquí como que hay una feria que no <risa> Ajá. Vaya, la primera tengo yo. Could you please help me reserve the comforting auditorium for a conference? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Podría por favor ayudarme a reservar el auditorio del Conforín para una conferencia? Uh -huh. No sé, estaría bien así. ¿va? La otra es... Bueno, no quiero ver. Please, uh -huh. please, can I make a rescue? Can you buy mi dinner to the room? Por favor, puedo hacer una petición. ¿Me pueden traer la cena a la habitación? Ajá. Esa está buena. Vaya. Lo mismo puse yo, creo. <ríe> eh, tercera. I have an appointment to attend a work conference. Tengo una cita para asistir a una conferencia de trabajo. Uh -huh. Y vamos a ver. Está bien, está bien. La siguiente es. You can check if. I am registered to be in the meeting. Puedes chequear si estoy inscrito para estar en una reunión. Pero ahí muñeco creo que el check out porque le piden que es check out. Ah, check out, weba. Sí, entonces tiene que ser como el chequeo de salida, así se traduce. Ah. Ya, yeah. bueno, digamos que lo voy a corregir. Y la última que tengo aquí, I can stay in the meeting room. ¿Puedo permanecer en, el sala, en la sala de reunión? Uh -huh. Sí. Tendría que mejorar la cuarta. Sí, ahí es la hora de salir. Bueno. Ah, ya. Hola. Listo, creo que ya la mejoré. Entonces uh -huh. dice, uh, espérame que aquí no me sale. Sí. 
Es que van a con el gato ahí. <risa> ok. Dice, bueno, ya la mejor You can check out of the meeting. No, puede chequear la salida de la reunión ahora. Ahí sí. Check out. Check out. Mm -hmm, sí, bueno, yo diría que está bien. Okay. Creo que ahí estamos. Ahí están las cinco. Sí. Bueno. Bueno. All right, everybody finished the sentences. Did you say the sentences to your partners? Did you write the sentences on the chat, probably? Or at least one or two. Okay, or somebody wants to say the sentences on the microphone. Any of the options is possible. Mm -hmm. Well, make a reservation, anybody? Any volunteer? All right, Ricardo, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Solo la uno. If you want to continue with the others, it's fine. But if you want, just the first one. Okay, Ada, entonces I read my, my five sentence. Okay, good. The number one, I need to make a reservation for this week. Mm -hmm. Number two, could you request food service to room 13? Right. The business forum will be held in the new plaza. Entendiendo que el business forum es el attend teacher. Right. <laughs> no problem. Uh, the number four, the hotel hotel checkout will be tomorrow at one o'clock. All right. And the number five, good morning. How long will you stay in our hostel? Nice, excellent. Very mm -hmm. good. All right, somebody else? Or at least reactions for Ricardo's sentences. Okay. 
No one else? Nobody else? Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, number one. Could you please help me reserve the comforting auditorium for a conference? Number two. Please, can I make a request? Can you bring me dinner to the room? Mm -hmm. Number three, I have an appointment to attend a work conference. Number four, you can check out of the meeting now. Number five, I can stay in the meeting room. Nice. All right. Very good. Okay. Great. Someone else? Or just Ricardo and Mr. Okay, we're going to continue. The next exercise is about accommodations or amenities. Classify the words below in the correspondence circle. These are the accommodations and these are the amenities. And this is the vocabulary. Swimming pool, hostel, con convention, hotel, safe, bed and breakfast, hair dryer, mini bar, cable TV, room service, spa, high speed Wi-Fi, and cabin. But accommodations se refieren a los distintos tipos de, de lugares para quedarse. O sea, para hospedarse. Obviamente, hostel va acá. Y los amenities son como las, digamos, las opciones que ofrecen estos lugares donde uno se pueda hospedar. So, ¿qué ofrecen? Better breakfast, no. Hair dryer, mini bar, cable TV. Hagamos la clasificación. For example, vamos a ver. Swimming pool, ¿dónde iría? ¿En accommodation or amenities? Amenities. Exactly. El zoom no me dejó reducir el tamaño de esta letra, no sé por qué. Algo tiene contra mí. <ríe> Déjame el número, dicho. ¿Ah? Y no póngale solo el número. Le, para que could be. Could be ¿No? as well. Hostel. Accommodation. Este es lo que conocemos como hostales, right? Hostel, que es un hotel pequeño, obviamente. Convention, hotel. Accommodation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to number three acá. Safe. Safe en la caja fuerte. Amenity. Amenity. That's for it. Bed and breakfast. Igual, amenity. Bed and breakfast. Fíjense que este es un concepto raro. Porque uno conoce como los Airbnb, que oh. últimamente están de moda. Ajá, solo que aquí les falta el Air, Airbnb. Eso es un tipo de, de alojamiento, digamos. Ok. Uh -huh. Que es como una casa o un apartamento que, que lo rentan, pues. Eso es un Airbnb. Hair dryer. Definitely. Um, yes. mm -hmm. Mini bar. Igual amenity. Igual amenity. Uh, uh, cable TV. También amenity. Amenity. amenity right. Room service. Yeah. Aquí de el espacio, ¿no? <laughs> Spa. Igual. Igual. Eh, high speed wifi, todo, ¿verdad? También. Y bueno, cabin, eso sí ya es un tipo de accommodation. 
una camita. All right, good. Pero no sé qué ha pasado con estas, con estas opciones de, de Zoom y la edición del texto. Será que no estoy encontrando todo. Give me one second, please. Mm. Ah, ya. Está en el color. <laughs> All right. Never mind. We're done. Now you have another exercise que trata de el be going to. Identify and correct three mistakes in the questions below. Check answers with a partner. En estas cinco questions hay tres errores. Porque hay dos que sí están correctas y las otras que sí tienen un error. Revísenlas, analícenlas y luego las vamos a comparar.
All right, did you identify the mistakes in the questions? Uh huh. Okay, she is going to stay in a single room. Is this a question? Mm -hmm. Is is she going to stay in a single room? That is the question for. How long are you going to stay at the cabin? This is correct. Yes. Yes. When are they going to arrive? What's the problem here? Here. Two. Exactly. We need two. When are they going to arrive? Well, two falta. Mm -hmm. Are you going to rent a car? Correct. Correct. What type of room you are going to request? Are you? Exactly. Are you? Are in the arrow. Okay. What type of room are you going to request? That's right. Okay. Good. Well, I'm going to erase because I need to move. Let's see. Vocabulary. Expansion. Side roads. Match the sign with the corresponding meaning, check the answers with a partner. No overtaking, maximum speed, not U turns, don't turn right, a school zone, don't continue, the exit goes to, don't turn left. All right, the first number one. What uh, is the first one? Mm -hmm. over, no overtaking. <laughs> the the first picture, the picture Creo. number one is not overtaking. Don't, don't turn left. left. Don't turn left. So here should be number one. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna separate un poco para que no se confunda. This should be number one. Don't turn left. Okay. The picture number two. Um, this exit goes to? Uh -huh. This exit goes to? Nothing harm. Yeah, most likely. Number two should be here. Mm -hmm. Number three. Picture number three. No overtaking. No overtaking. So this should be picture number three. No overtaking. Picture number four. Don't turn right. Don't turn right. So number four. Number five. School zone. A school zone. This is very common in our in our country. But todas las escuelas las construyen a lo largo de la carretera. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Quizás yes. en las en las ciudades no, pero en los ajá, en, en el área rural si están sobre la carretera. Number six. No you turn. Do not you turn right. So number six should be this one. Seven. Maximum uh, speed is? It should be maximum speed maximum. is 40 kilometers. And number eight. 
Don't continue. Don't continue. Stop. Okay. So this should be. Okay. Let's see. Definitely los números se van a mover. Pero bueno. What does this sign mean? It means there is a school zone ahead. What about this one? It means that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. So practically what the conversation is like, what does this sign mean? It means don't turn to the left, okay? And what about this sign? No overtaking, it means no overtaking. So it means that it's not permitted to surpass the other car, right? Okay, so that's practically the part of the vocabulary. I just want to, well, <clears throat> summarize with, well, we practiced this conversation yesterday it's just a summary this is what we just did we just finished with this exercise as well right and turn left this exit goes to no overtaking uh -huh. don't turn right school zone not you turn maximum speed is and don't continue all right, this is something we did also yesterday, the means of transportation that you found yesterday as well. Yeah, I remember that you did that, okay? Yeah, so means of transportation. Okay, examples, right? Can I go to the supermarket by car? Yes. And the difference or the use of get and go, right? Go means motion from point A to point B and get means arrive, okay? Yeah, we did this exercise as well yesterday, right? Sophie, how do you go to work? By car. The trainer is going to get to the production after the meeting. Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? The bank is really near, you can go by foot. I'm going to call you when I get to the hotel. And practically, that's all. Well, we're almost on time, it's still on time. I don't know if you still have some questions. Mm -hmm. Is there any question? Yes. No? Not this sure. year. Not really. Okay, good. Well, so we have gotten Till the end. <laughs> this is the last session. Okay. Well, I don't have anything else to tell you that it's been a pleasure. It's been nice spending time every single night for four weeks, right? And of course, I enjoy. I enjoy teaching. That's something I really like to do. So I hope you have practiced, you have learned enough. And of course, we have to take the attendance, right? But thank you very much for participating. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. So it's almost Christmas time. So hopefully, you get wonderful time with your family you can be really prosperous next year good things and positive things come to your life i wish you all the best and may god bless you all so let's have the last attendance oh 
yeah of course you can yeah thank you very much you can wish also your partners yeah i think you get very good relationship with your partners here in the class and that's also great okay let's see let's have the last attendance please say present okay anna cristina mm -hmm. Brian, David Miguel, present teacher, hey. Deborah, present teacher, Thank you, Doris, Elvin, Gabriel, present Miss. Hey. Gracias. No se pudo unir gracias este día. Víctor. Present teacher. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Imelda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Iván. Present miss. Happy holidays. See Bye you bye. Soon. See you. <laughs> Joanna. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn. Present. Okay. I think that is Laura. Laura. Not here. Present teacher, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You too. Take care. Thank you. Maria Irma. In here, teacher. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel not here. Nelson está en su, en su Christmas party. <laughs> Enjoying dancing and getting prizes. Okay. All right. Paula, Natalia. Present teacher, my Christmas. You too. God bless you. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Uh, happy New Year. Bless you. you too. Thank you. Wendy. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wilmer. Present teacher, good night. Okay, thank you very much. Many, many, many blessings, stones, stones of blessings for your life. Hope your life definitely get better, get love and peace on these holidays, okay? See you soon. Adiós, teacher. Gracias por todo, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Feliz año nuevo. You too. Thank Bye. You. Bye. You're welcome. Take care. Bye, miss. Bye.